Hi, welcome to Infinity and Beyond, a video series where we'll be covering actual rocket science, brought to you by Astronomy Magazine. Each episode, we'll take a brief dive into a different cosmic topic, covering it from the basics to the latest research. My name is Abigail Bolenbach, and today I'll be shedding some light on dark matter. Astronomers are always learning about how much they don't know about the cosmos. And one of the more recent examples of this is when they discovered that 85% of the mass in the universe takes a bizarre form that is unlike anything humans have ever encountered before, dark matter. This strange substance does not emit or interact with light, hence why it's called dark matter. Most scientists think that dark matter is composed of non-baryonic matter, as opposed to baryonic matter, which makes up everything we can see, smell, or touch. Since at least the 1920s, astronomers have hypothesized that the universe contains more matter than can be seen, and the support for dark matter has only grown since then. Although no direct evidence of dark matter has yet been detected, astronomers have found a number of indirect clues. There are a couple of different ways that scientists calculate the mass of large objects in space. And one way is by watching how matter moves in the presence of gravity. Based on observations first made by Vera Rubin and Kent Ford in the late 1970s, astronomers have found that galaxies in our universe seem to be achieving an impossible feat. They are rotating with such speed that the gravity generated by all of their observable matter could not possibly bind them together. They should have torn themselves apart long ago. And clusters of galaxies should also fly apart based on the amount of visible matter they contain. Another clue to the existence of dark matter was first outlined by Albert Einstein. His theory of general relativity tells us that massive objects like galaxies or galaxy clusters bend and distort light from objects behind them. This is called gravitational lensing. And today, astronomers use gravitational lensing to study how intervening galaxies and clusters distort distant light, enabling them to create a map of dark matter in the universe. All of these methods provide a strong indication that most of the matter in the universe is invisible. So what is this invisible matter made of? Astronomers have some ideas. One of the long time leading candidates, weakly interacting massive particles or WIMPs, would have one to a thousand times the mass of a proton. But their weak interactions with normal matter make them challenging to detect. Another likely candidate, the axion, has a story that begins in the 1970s. The axion is thought to have no quantum mechanical spin, and its mass, though not zero, should be incredibly small. In 2017, the axion dark matter experiment at the University of Washington became the first experiment sensitive enough to detect this elusive particle, and they are still searching today. Although the axion is currently the leading dark matter candidate, it is still hypothetical. So astronomers and physicists are tirelessly looking for answers to better understand the enigma that is dark matter. One thing is for sure, and that is we must continue marching onwards because the universe sure isn't gonna slow down for us to catch up. Remember, there is no limit when you're watching Infinity and Beyond.